So the first transformation, for example, one would be shifting to the right two units. And number two transformation would be shift down three units. So now, so let me go ahead and uh, show you the little, well, show you the actual transformation. So uh, originally, this is our graph originally, but now I'm gonna show you the shift. So we're gonna go to the what? To the right two units and then down three units. So that's our graph now, okay? Shift to the right two units, and down three units. So we can now tell the vertex. Now, I got some boxes right here, okay? Now we have what, six rows here. And on quizzes and tests, uh, we, will, we, will, we will give you only three boxes. Uh, we want you to show some values. We want, to, uh, we want you to show some values so that you know that you're on the right track. Like for example, you want to show yourself that, oh, say uh, X is equal to zero. And you put a zero into the X, you're like, oh, absolute value of zero minus two, it's absolute value of negative two, which is two, two minus three, it's negative one. So do you have this point at zero comma negative one? And we say, yeah, we've got this point. And if you know how to do this, uh, like plugging in values and find out the point, you actually have no reason to produce an incorrect graph. I wanna make that clear. So, all right. So let's go ahead and start filling out these tables. What is the easiest thing to fill out right here? Domain, what's the domain here? Uh, we have all real numbers. So uh, domain means the X values. So it goes uh, from negative infinity to infinity. So that is one of the easiest thing. Okay. And uh, we have uh, interval notation and set notation for these two. Okay. I heard vertex. Vertex is very easy. Where's the vertex? It is two comma negative three. I think that's very easy. You know where the vertex is. So uh, just go ahead put it onto the paper. Anything else that's also very easy to spot out? Range would be? Negative three to infinity, all right. So, so we're describing, hey, what are the Y values? And we say, oh, the Y values are not all numbers because the lowest possible Y value is negative three. So everything from negative three all the way up. So it's, uh, that interval and for set notation we will simply say y it's greater than or equal to negative three now the slope if there is no vertical or horizontal stretch or shrink the slope should maintain s1 and negative one and that should make your uh, telling of x intercepts and y intercepts very very straightforward so your Y intercepts, oh, let me show you a wrong demonstration. Okay, a wrong demonstration here is that I'm looking at the X intercepts. Okay, it's uh, X equals to negative one and five. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna write this down, negative one and, uh, and five, all right? And what would I do if I see anybody answering this? It's wrong. What's wrong? Yeah, when we talk about these X intercepts, these are points. So you've got to show them as points. So make sure that you know when, when you are being asked, okay, these points, express them as points accordingly. And the Y intercept would be, zero comma negative one. Now, something new right here, we have axis of symmetry. Can you tell the meaning of the, by the word itself, axis of symmetry? Like the line where, yeah, so this is the axis of symmetry. 
and this is x equals to two. It's a line, so you have to express it as a line, and this is x equals to two. It's a line, okay? So it's a line. And based on the look of this graph, do you think we have a maximum or minimum? We have a minimum, you have a turning point at the bottom, so it's a minimum. And what's the minimum value? Negative three. So that means if you know your vertex, you can get your axis of symmetry and your minimum value easily. Okay. Now, um, I know we have only a couple of minutes left, so I want to say a few things. Uh, I want you to try the worksheet on the next two pages. Now, the answer key are, uh, the answer key for notes and the worksheet are both uploaded to Schoology. Not that I want you to copy. Is that I want you to do it and check your work, okay? And tomorrow we'll discuss it.